We just came out of the scrap heap. We upgraded our weapon, we found the lost mother, and we got a new city first. Now, we're going to go check up on the area because um, we were told about their shade situation. Look at this sheep. Look at it. Look at it. I go walking up to him. He's like, Serves you right. You know, there's an achievement in this game for killing a hundred sheep. But believe it, it takes ages. It takes ages to kill a hundred sheep. Because after you've killed like all 20 or whatever in this area, you have to leave and come back to respawn them. And it takes ages to kill like 20 sheep. It takes ages to kill. Anyway, the area which we'll make our way to now. I've noticed that, like, I did a side quest to get the tusk of a boar. And by doing that side quest, there's supposed to be a boar sitting outside all the all the roots when you come out but he's not here which makes me think I might have to finish the side quest before that happens so yeah I'm just gonna cut back okay so the side quest I was telling you about uh -huh. um, I had to hunt a ball um, blah 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 now I've finished the side quest I can ride on balls now I'm gonna cut back to the plains again where I will show you myself riding on a boar. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Once you've got a boar tusk, there is a boar that you can't kill that sits outside of whatever exit you enter on the southern or northern plain. And then, what you can do is you can ride this boar. If you hold A, you boost. turn, and you can drift, like an outrun. Basically, this makes backtracking across these planes painless. Absolutely painless. Of course, if you're good at drifting, that is. If you're not good, and you keep crashing, then it takes just as long. But it's good for backtracking. It's really good for backtracking, the ball, which is why I did that side quest that I didn't even show you. What are you doing here? Uh, saving you from like having trouble with these little me? shades that are barely tolerable. Yeah, that's not happening. I don't know, but they're all over the village too. Let's go. We need to find the sealed verse. Okay, I remember actually we picked up some new words, so I want to see what they do. Um, anything new? Okay, Hoda and Asher. So what does that do? Um, physical defense 2, knockback resistance 4. Um, still power mark. Geb and Lug. Lug. Magic cost minus 2. Well, so far it's going to be very little difference because it's their early words, but they're worth equipping. This is a nice long boss battle, and it really starts to show you the scope of this game. If, if you were still having trouble working out what kind of game it was, what kind of feeling it was going for, this boss battle shows you what kind of game this is trying to be. Where it's, um, where it's going. Get out of the way, Kaine. Now, if you try to save right now, he's like, you could have ride letters right now. This is hard. Mmm, this is hardly the time to be writing letters. So you're like, okay, fine. Well, sure looks like it's being attacked by shades, doesn't it? Sure looks like it's in turmoil, doesn't it? Oh, shit. He's 
See, when I said the big shade the last time, I was on the wooden platform, I wasn't wrong, I was just at the wrong point in the game. You do see the big shade then, but this is the actual boss battle. And believe me, this is a hard boss battle. But, one of the pluses is that there's checkpoints after each part, so if you get game over you can just continue later on in the boss battle, which is fair. So currently still, you, your magic is your most powerful asset. Doing any kind of damage. Oh. That was cool. Yes. Rot in hell, asshole! I'll tear your eyes out. Oh, I'm dead. I'll tear your eyes out. This sucks. I have never heard such a thing. Kindly struggles. You must hurry. Basically, every time he lifts his hand, you just jump. And when he gets to this stage, it's best just like throw magic at him. Right, okay. Next part of the boss panel. If you fail those little circles, um, you have to redo them. You have to battle the boss down to that point and then work the help out. So what's really impressive about this boss battle, everything that gets destroyed while fighting this boss stays destroyed. The next time you come to the area, it's destroyed. The bits that are destroyed are destroyed. <clears throat> you notice it even more later on in the game after another boss battle. I'll take care of the boss. You worry about the rest. Okay, Kaine. Sweet dreams. I dislike that these are like protected shades who like have shields on. These these two don't, which is excellent. It's good news for me. Because if they don't have a shield on them, you can kill them instantly. Whoa, that looked like a long word. What word was that? Probably a weapon word. No. An evasion word. Solia. MP recovery rate. Wow. That's good. That's useful, actually. I think I have to kill every shade in this town in order to progress through this bit, so... Um, so it takes a while. Oh, my back hurts! Is up here. Wow, so what was the point in coming here? Waste of time. Fail. Don't try that. It's a really dangerous move. Come. I brought the shades here? Oh. Kind of brought the shades here. Or what? Why doesn't anything make any sense? That was me first time playing. Oh, 
Oh, so friendly. And let her save your lives. Don't defend me. Sorry to keep you waiting. You don't care what these people say about you? No, screw it. Is that a tank it's holding? Is it filled with monsters? Our new friend is a dangerous But that... If that's full of monsters... Hold on. But what he picked up was a house that people were living in. Wasn't it? So you're telling me the people living in that house were monsters? And like I said, I already know the answer to that question. But you don't yet. I love these magic sequences, they're so awesome. Or like he he uses like these sealed verses. They're amazing. Personally, the game could have used more of that. It's still awesome. Get up there and wait for him. Okay, watch yourself. Dooby dooby doo. Or I'm gonna lure this fucker over. At the same time, get me some medicinal herbs. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Again. That's an important one. Any that have that ring around them are important. dead? What? Fine, I'll destroy every shade here. It's cool. I'm not gonna feel guilty or anything for killing all these shades. Damn it, die! Damn it, die! Fucks. Say, fucks. Sucks to be fighting the boss in this lazy way. Die. You know the good part is, once you do this prologue, every time through the game from then on, you start from where it's amazing. Don't, you don't start in this program. You start from where it's good. I mean, this game's good now, but maybe not. It gets so much better. I like how boss battles are 
boss battles in this game. You know, they're not just small little things. These battles go on and on and on. I like how they drag. You feel like you're fighting a big, massive monster. You know, in a lot of games, you get to the boss battle and it's it's like one boss pattern that's like jump and avoid its lasers and then punch it in the face. You know, and then that's it. It's done. Or you're playing in an RPG and the boss is oh, the boss only takes as long as you're leveled up. I mean, that's true in this game. But the first time through, you're not very likely to get those achievements for beating the bosses fast. You're not likely to get them because the game is nicely scaled difficulty-wise so that you can you can bumble through the story or you can spend the time doing the side quests and appreciate it. Nova, um, watermelon seed. I'm not going to be doing farming stuff, it's far too boring. I mean, it's, it's okay if, if you're into like the Harvest Moon style stuff, but you basically have to, um, you have to use real-time clock, like certain plants take a certain number of real-life days to grow, so you end up just um, running your Xbox offline and adjusting the system clock to get the seeds and things for that mode. Wow, what a really challenging boss battle. Alright, damn it. Grandma, you uh, don't sound too good. <laughs> Kaine, what's wrong? Oh, it's my heart. I wish you would have. Grandma? Come, Kaine. Come to your grandma's side. You have been lonely for so, so long. So much pain, so much despair. Why go on? Is that it? Mm -hmm. Are you done talking? I know. Don't speak to your grandma like that. You're going to stop talking now. And then I'm going to walk over to you. And very carefully, extend my hand. Reach into your chest. And pull out your fucking heart! Awesome. My grandmother would never say that. She'd never tell me to give up on life. Never! I spent my entire life searching for a way to avenge her death. She gave me the strength to deal with this goddamn human body. Do you know how long I've been like this? How much I loathe myself? Mutant body, would that have anything to do with the villagers calling Kaine a half -breed? I'm just planting ideas in your head. That's all. Anyway, this boss seems to be remarkably straightforward. Block. Well, 
The boss seems very straightforward. The most part. No, this is one of the few bosses where I fuck it up on the timing because it's well driven. Right. He taps once, twice. I don't like how when you mess up the, the ting, you have to do it again. To let the boss back down. But I suppose it's like the boss saying, well, it's your fault. There we go. Okay, the camera went through his body then. Or her body. Boss. Right. Play the smack down. This is awesome. Bang! That was clever. Break the platform you're standing on. Well, you better hope nobody planned to go on that platform at any time. Ooh, that reminds me of God of War. When you impale, like, the Hydra at the start. I think she intends to perish where she lies. And in truth, perhaps death is the greatest comfort we can offer her. It's not your decision. Mm. You don't get to decide who lives and who dies. She's a life with meaning and worth. We're gonna save her. Everyone has something to live for. Even Kaine. Even young. Perhaps you should save your pretty words for her instead of wasting them on me. I find it funny that he says, um, it's not your decision. It's like, oh, so it's his decision? He's allowed to decide who lives and dies? Okay then. Kaine. <laughs> Examine. <laughs> you know, people could read that the wrong way. It's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's just examine Kaine already. Grandma, can I rest now? I'm so tired. Kaine, over here! Don't give up! You're stronger than I! Don't you dare give up now! This woman has more trouble than she worth. That's it. Come on! That's a bit cheesy, isn't it? You're going to live, Kaime! Me? <laughs> live? What for? I had my revenge. Now it's over. Oh, now see here. This is rich. Vice. We help you in some mad quest for vengeance, and now you think to bid us adieu. How can a fighter so skilled be cursed with such a thick head? A true warrior would fight. They would give all in the service of their friends. Friends? Yes. You and I are friends now. <laughs> See here, that was hardly the point. Then what is the point? Um, Kaine, come fight with us. Fool, you can't just invite her along. There are many issues that must be carefully weighed and considered. For example, how will she possibly affect our overall abilities? Grim, to... book. Book? How dare you? I am Grimoire Vice, wielder of our kings. Vice, then. Do not abbreviate my name. You're an ass. But you're also right. I need to live for something besides revenge. Then you'll join us? My 
my swords need a true home. But you'll do for now. Dark Phantasm. Uh, dispatch a magical doppelganger. I've never used that magic before. Oh, there we go. Achievement unlocked. Black Scrawl got you kid, huh? Yeah. And we need to seal verses to cure her. Gotcha. What is it? Well, I'm not sure if this will help, but I know a guy who has the same disease. He's a king, actually, and his kingdom has been working on a cure for a while. I guess it's possible they have something. Do you really think they have discovered a cure? I said it's possible. I didn't say it happened. The place is called Facade. It's deep within the desert. Any chance is better than no chance at all. I say we try it. If this proves successful, it would certainly make our task a good deal easier. Okay then. Off to Facade in the desert. Funny thing about facade is they live by rules. They have over a thousand rules. And they're all strange. Well then <clears throat> Let's say we make our way to facade. I don't mind doing another half hour to an hour of this and then cutting it up. Though I need to find a more comfortable seating arrangement. 